Then again, who would win a fight? Here's a here's a weird question. What is an animal, like a scary predatory animal, that you think you could beat in a fight if your life depended on it? I'll go first. Um, not many. <laughs> Maybe back when I was uh, healthier, I could have. I used to be very ripped and athletic and not ripped is an overstatement but i was very muscular and athletic and stuff um one animal that i think is a little overrated for danger that isn't as scary as people think is a wolf i don't think i could beat a wolf i could beat a fox though yes wolves by themselves are not that big of a threat multiple wolves you're super screwed <gasps> freeze ray but one, you're going to be pr probably going to be fine. As long as you don't, like, antagonize it. Or try and attack it or anything. Unironically, I think if my life defended, defended on it, depended on it, I could kill a fox. Saying unarmed is, an, is a little disingenuous because I'm never unarmed because I use a cane to walk and I can use that as a weapon. But, um... Though the big reason I think I could take on a fox, my Yorkie took on a fox. <laughs> my Yorkie dealt with a fox. And that is how I, and she was, she was unharmed in the process. So that's how I'm pretty sure I could take one. If my dog who gets upset about having her nails trimmed can beat a fox, I'm probably fine. Very true. I guess, like, really in any fight, who gets hit first matters. Not necessarily the most, but pretty close to the most. I've mentioned this on stream before, and I'll say it again. I have been in fights. Um, I've gotten hit first in every fight I've fought in. And that absolutely gives you a huge disadvantage. Whoever swings first is most likely to win whatever fight you're in. Fist fight or otherwise. Hopefully none of you are in, out there getting in knife fights. Would not recommend. Um, but I would say for like a knife fight, getting hit first actually isn't as bad. Because it's hard to follow up an attack with a knife. They're not really... Most people don't know how to use their knives. Again, trip lore. I have been slashed up with a knife. Um, I was helping in a children's ministry at a church in a bad area of town. And a kid pulled a knife on another kid. And I had to intercede. And I got hurt in the process. I would not recommend getting stabbed to anyone. But, um... As long as you make sure you have the knife at the end of that, you'll probably live. Just don't panic. I, I guess that's the biggest thing in any fight. Don't panic. If you let panic seize you in a fight... You're screwed. Thank you for the shotgun. Because if you let panic get you, panic leads to inaction. Inaction leads to not surviving in emergencies. Sometimes, even doing the wrong thing to be proactive is the thing to do in an emergency. Obviously, that's not the case for what we're talking about, but it's worth noting. How many people do you think to take on a single gorilla using unsharpened sticks? Five to eight?
I think it would take a lot of people to take on a, a gorilla with just sticks. What happened to my the idol? There it is. I just now need to go get my shotgun back. And I, maybe my dog. Yeah, that was a little <laughs> a little hairy. Um, I th you know what? I'm actually gonna increase. I'm gonna say eight to ten. Because the problem is hitting a gorilla with a stick isn't really gonna do much to help you. All you're going to have is a now angrier gorilla. Uh, there's no way I can get that dog, so... Boom. <laughs> you know what? Uh, reference to a long-running bit here on the channel. Not long-running, recently running. Um, just a bit. Who would win? A billion flying gorillas or one of every Pokemon? <laughs> I couldn't even get it out of my mouth before laughing. If we still have a lurking techie, she'll appreciate that. Honestly, a billion flying gorillas might win. I think it's close, but I don't have any bombs. I really need to get what's in that box in case what's in that box is... How do I get that? I need to go under. Okay. What? Why are there so many bees? Is this two beehives? There should not be this many bees. A billion flying gorillas versus one of every Pokemon? I might give it to the gorillas. Why are there so many bees? There's the dog. Oh, it's the extra super big floor with the big evil piranha monster. Oh. Well, I'm not getting to the black market. I think I just go. We can't get the black market. We've got a shotgun. We might be able to make it to at least ice caves with what we've got. We also still haven't upset any shopkeeps. Which is an asset. Especially with a shop like this. Still a great shop though. Uh, still no bombs. There's bombs. Oh, the dog's over there. We've not seen Callie at all, I don't think. Oh, the dog's up there. Oh. Pokemon ever became public use, you know lines versus Pokemon can be made. I would totally play like a Pokemon fan game where your objective is to fight a billion lions with your Pokemon team. I mean, hey, someone get a hold of the dude who just made Poker Rogue. Have him make... Poker Lion Royale. Where collectively the community of players uses a team of Pokemon, six each, to try and beat 
a billion to kill a billion lions over the game's the time the game exists. That's unironically an incredible idea. And as the bonus of being a meme, so people would love it. Why is it always dead or restless? Why won't the dead rest in peace for me for once? I don't have any bombs still. I might try and do the this go this pot. Let the vampire fall. Come on. There it goes. I can't remember. Does this summon the ghost as soon as I grab it? Is there a roam where, you ju where you're just lions to try and beat Pokemon? I don't think so, but I would play it. Do I, I can't even get, can I get that dog? We gotta kill this vampire first. No, I can't get that dog. I didn't notice the spikes. Okay, we leave with the ghost pot. Bye. Honestly, Techie, on the way I see emotes on my little phone, I can't tell what they really look like. I do not have the visual acuity required. Shop. With some bombs in it. Hi. Bomb? Guys, we might win. We at least have the potential to. It does spawn a ghost, and it, if you... Oh, that's, that's neat, actually. I did not know it could spawn a second ghost. Perish. Cali Altar. We want to try and get the puppy. Where is la puppy? There is la puppy. Whee! I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna risk my life trying to get Yetis on here, especially because I think. Have we sacked anything to her yet? I do love that you can accidentally identify, uh, sacrifice yourself. That is a neat mechanic that I do enjoy. Can anyone look up for me? How many dead yetis it takes to equal one dog? For Callie? I assume it's a lot, so I'm probably not going to bother. I'm just gonna leave. I changed my mind. Even if it even if it was a reasonable amount, I'd rather just keep going. I kill the threat. Even if it is a cute cuddly threat. It's based on its health. Okay, I don't know the their health offhand, I'll be honest. I know um obviously living things are worth more and all that. Ooh, two crates. Whoops, give me my gun. More bombs. Oh gosh. If 
Bye. <laughs> Hello, temple. You hear prayers to Kali. What the frick? Oh, it's the infamous teleporting man! Oh no, I've heard of you. I'm unfortunately very familiar with those, though. We survived 1-1 one, one of the temple. We've never done that before. We are... This is a p new PB, chat. I don't know what that is. It's a door of some sort. Needs something to open it. Thanks for the bombs. I assume I don't grab that item under any circumstances. Anything scary down here? Yeah, a little bit. Nothing a bomb can't solve. Typical. Alright. Here we go. Brilliant. What? What is that? Big hole in the wall. What is a dog? Might as well get it. It's basically free! Uh, I was wrong. Dog gives eight. Gives full. Oh! I, I could have gotten Kapala then. I could have gotten the Kapala. That's okay. That's okay. Don't stress about that. Just keep going. Keep moving. Keep vibing. Keep living. Blow up. Thank you. I'm not gonna die to get f getting crushed. Not when I have so much to live for. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. It's Olmec! I have finally encountered Olmec. I don't know how to fight him. I have no idea how to kill Olmec. I don't know how to kill Olmec, chat. <laughs> We're here, though. There's the exit. I was, I, my memory's right, there is stuff up here. Chat, was this the same call, run as the voice, is the phone call? Hello, new character. I'll get to you in a second. Lava beneath the stage. Alright, so it is like Spelunky 2, I wasn't sure. Hello there. Can you 
help me somehow with this? Come help me beat the man himself, Olmec. I should probably be using bombs for it, right? Seems like a good thing to use bombs on. Come here. Oh, I threw that the wrong direction. I'm on your head. What you gonna do? This one doesn't have a ghost timer, right? What the frick? Oh, he summons minions. Okay. Come over here. Over here. A little bit. Easy does it. Easy does it. Almost. There we go. That's progress. You're stuck. Now what? Ghost will not spawn unless you have ball and chain. Cool, we do not have that. Alright. I guess we need to bring you out of the hole now? Oh god, no, I know what I, know what I need to do. It's scary, though. That. I died! Oh! <sighs> we made it to Olmec. We made it to Olmec, but we did not win. See you next time, YouTube. It's that man in black and green Sometimes sweet and saccharine Sometimes he 